I just want to talk about how some of us just don't fit into the conventional model of what is considered normal or successful um, by other people's standards. And as a person who dropped out of school, I dropped out midway through my freshman year. The last grade I completed was eighth grade, and I didn't go to college. By most people's standards, that would make me a failure. Um, but what I know to be true is that I went out and started a couple different successful businesses in my life. I've been self-employed for 14 years. Um, I had six employees when I was like 26, 27. Um, and I wouldn't change a thing. Sometimes we are alienated in a certain environment because we don't fit in, but it's not because we don't belong. It's because we aren't meant to be followers. We're not meant to be someone else's employees, you know? And that's essentially what school's training us to do and be. Um, some of us are meant to be leaders. Some of us are meant to be innovators. Some of us are meant to be pioneers. And for those people, I would say, you know, I understand. I'm with you. I'm one of you. My teachers rejected me. My teachers did not get me. They um, verbally abused me and alienated me and basically refused to teach me because they saw me as a lost cause. And it's their loss, you know, because ultimately I was probably too smart for my own good, but not in the way that is valued in a setting like that. I didn't have the kind of intelligence that would allow me to memorize a lot of meaningless facts. I had the kind of intelligence that would have me questioning why we were doing that in the first place. And that is not something that most teachers value. <laughs> so if you're anything like that, a little rebellious, a little unconventional, um, you don't quite fit into any particular place because you are meant to be different. You're meant to lead others. You're meant to shine bright and create a new example of what it means to be human. And I'm not encouraging anyone to drop out of school. <clears throat> Just because that was the right decision for me doesn't mean that it's the right decision for anyone else. Um, but what is the right decision for you is to listen to your heart and follow your own calling. What your soul is telling you you're made for, what your soul is pushing you toward, that's what I did when I was young. And even though I was judged by a lot of people for it, um, I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't change it, anything. I wouldn't change a thing. So anyway, I just wanted to share that for anyone that needed to hear it. And keep going. <laughs>